Hey guys, Ruben here, and today we're talking a bit about bossa nova, which is a Brazilian music genre which has influence on American and European music, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, um, it might be a bit noisy around here because we have people playing around, uh, practicing their music instruments around me. So anyway, um, bossa nova is something you want to listen to on your way back from work because it's very relaxing and it's I think it's a very, uh, it's a genre and a rhythm worth learning if you are a beginner. All right, so let's get straight into it. So, Bossa Nova sounds something like this. Let me just play it for you. Alright, so um, you can see that the kicks are on the 1 and 3. And 1 and 3. And the hi-hats goes on 8. So, it's very simple. Da, 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 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. Now, the snares normally played with claves or rim shots on the snare drum is more unique where it plays on 1 to N and 4 1 N so it plays on you know, all these parts here and uh, it's, it's very you know it's 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 special you know to me that to when I started learning bossa nova for the first time I got I needed some tries to actually get bossa nova to actually feel the rhythm and actually be able to play it right um, if you're not sure what a clave is a clave looks something like this all right so that's a clave stick and um, you know, Bossa Nova they use clip sticks instead of snares, so that's how a clip stick look like. All right, so let's arrange this down now. I'm going to mute this down, and I'm going to show you how to create a Bossa Nova rhythm with the drums first, and then I'm going to go through the basses and how to play and arrange bass for a Bossa Nova rhythm. Okay, a generic one. So here we go. So the drums will go on a one and two and and three and one and three and one and three. Okay, so. Two, three, four. All right, I'm gonna quantize that. Uh, quantize it to a, a eight notes, and you might want to use you know some humanization in your quantization because um, you don't want to quantize it too hard like me. What I'm doing now is quantizing really, really hard just for demonstration purposes, but you want to leave some gaps there for humanization so it sounds more natural. Here we go, this is how the kick sound, right? All right, we're gonna add in the hi-hats now. The hi-hats goes on eight. Let's go, so one, two, three, four. By practice, you want to use a recorded um, hi hats pattern because if you play this yourself, it might sound a bit, you know, artificial where it goes very robotic on the drum. So it goes like that right now. Pretty unnatural if you ask me, right? So here's com here comes the special part, the claves, which I'm going to use a rim shot, yeah, to to perform this, to play this and arrange this. So it's going to go one and two and three and four and one. And that one and two and three and four and one and two and three four. All right, you got to practice that to get the rhythm in your mind and to actually be able to play it naturally. But this is a generic bossa nova rhythm. So here we go. One, two, three, four. All right, so it's one and two and three and four and one and two and three four. All right, so um, download the score. Uh, of this video and then you know practice playing it in your DAW or you know wherever you are yeah, yeah. all right great so that's the boss on the rhythm the, the generic one you don't need have do you don't need swing for boss on the rhythm and I'm going to show the bass on the bass follows the um, the drum kick so it goes the drum kicks when that 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 all right so the bass should go something like <laughs> It goes one, five, one, five, so one. And it goes something like that. All right, I'm going to play something uh, coming out of my mind and to show you how it actually sounds like or how you would actually arrange it down. Here we go. So one, two. Something like that, all right? So you get the idea. Again, quantize it to eight notes, and I'm going to quantize it hard this time, but you want to have a bit of humanization in your quantization to give it a bit of uh, feel. All right, so here's how it sounds together. All 
Alright, so that's a boss song we've done with the drum and bass. Now, if any questions again, please ask me in the comment section below. And if any requests at all, hey, just ask me up, I don't buy it again. Thanks.